All right, welcome on in to City Cat Finds. So in this episode, we're going to find our way to the consecrated snowfield. So this will be a relatively quick how to to show you the steps that you got to do to get access to it and take us there. So without further ado, here we go. All right, so the easy piece to get is right here in Lunaria of the Lakes. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off here at Folly on the Lake. And we're basically just going to ride out and go just a hair southwest. So mostly south, just a hair west. And we'll just kind of ride, ride straight ahead. And then up here, you're going to see some hangings. Uh, and that's really going to be your sign of the to kind of veer on up. So this is the village of the Albanorks, and bad things have happened here. So they are they are hostile, uh, but where you're going, you really only have to fight one boss. Uh, just in case you don't know, there's a larval tier right here that you can pick up when you're on your way. Uh, and then there's a side of grace that you can grab. Uh, there is a perfumer up here that you're going to have to go through to get to the fine gentleman that will give you the medallion. <laughs> there we go. All right. So once you're through him, you're going to see a well lit pot back here is always a sure sign of something's going on with there's probably likely a crap ton of messages you can just roll into it and then you'll talk to him so just finish out his uh, conversation and he will give you the first half of the medallion all right so now that we've finished the conversation we've got the hallowed tree secret medallion right so the Hallowed Tree Secret Medallion is the medallion that will unlock the Consecrated Snowfield for you. So now this part is optional, but you can get some Spirit Ashes if you want uh, and kind of continue on with the quest. This is the Lakeside Crystal Cave, and this is where you'll find Latena. So I will catch up with you as we kind of progress through here and show you the boss. I'll bloodhounded the uh, bloodhound night there. This is where you get the really an amber medallion. So get some uh, bonus FP points. And here's the boss. Well, that was the boss, actually. Never mind. All right. And this is where you'll find Latena and a Grace. So she will actually tell you where the next uh, piece of the medallion is. So if you didn't have this guide, and didn't stumble onto it. This is how you'd find out. I told the oath that I possess. So she's gonna go with you, and she becomes a spirit ashes for you to summon. So Lieutenant Albanork. So I've never actually used uh, that spirit summon, but I think it's basically like a turret. I don't think she moves, but she fires arrows a long distance. All right, so now the next step is to head to the mountaintop of Giants and progress through a little bit there till you can get the Castle Soul. And that's where we'll pick it up next. All right, so once you are on the mountaintop of Giants, you're going to want to get the Freezing Lake right here uh, and then Castle Souls right here. So uh, from the Grace right there, you'll just come up here and you're going to just kind of veer to the right. Now there's going to be a lot of undead here. You can just punch them in the face. Um, but you don't really have to fight anything on your way. And you're just going to kind of veer up here to the right. There's going to be <clears throat> some giant skeletons. So you can see the castle right here. So that can be your baseline. You know, you just want to go towards that. Uh, you're just looking for a way down and that will be over here on your right. Eventually you'll find a little bit of balance here. Uh, between the levels and then you'll be able to just jump down when you do jump down there will be a death right bird that spawns and will chase you but you should be able to get to the grace fairly easily right. 
So this Tibia Mariner can basically be your point of reference on the right. Once you see him, you know you can jump down. And you'll see the big ass skeleton. And just keep on moving down. And here's where you'll get uh, the death right bird here in a minute. All right, so everything is after you at this point. And then lightning strikes, but right here is the grace. And then that will get you Castle Soul. There's going to be two of the lion enemies right here in the entrance. Um, of course, if you have trouble, you can just kill them one at a time. Because they won't respawn, right? So take them out one at a time, you'll be good to go. So here we're going to run through. And uh, I remember how to... All right, easy day. All right, so then you're just going to pretty much run through here. Um, so I will just kind of play some tunes and accelerate through this as we avoid fighting anything else. The only thing you're going to want to worry about is this guy being uh, coming down because he will teleport and try to kill you as you get the grace. Oh. This is a late game area, so expect people to be tough. Enjoyable here in the fucking circle of doom. All right, let's rest here. We lost whatever cool banished item that was. All right, so if the next, we're almost at the boss. So you're just gonna want to do a quick run through here, and there'll be a lot of shit that pops out at you here. You don't even want to worry about it. In this fight, having a mimic helps. If you're doing, for some reason, a no summon thing or whatever, uh, like I'm doing on my other playthrough, um, it, you know, it's a little tougher. <laughs> However, on this character, we're not. So I will show you using the mimic. Just bring him in. And he will help you a lot. This is on New Game Plus, by the way, so they're a little bit tougher. And I should really have a bunch of these, but I don't. The advantage with, because when he is only attacking you, there are very few good attack spots very few att good attack openings where he just wears himself out like this but he'll do a lot more if you have help and you just let your mimic tank it and really well he's fucking he doesn't even need me my mimic could just solo this shit So this is this a fight definitely you want to consider probably using a summon for, especially, you know, on your first playthrough. Oh, he's trying to beat my Mimic up now. But there you go. So you'll get the Veteran's Prothesis and there'll be a side of Grace here.
And up here is where you're going to get the second half of the secret Halog Tree Metal. So there'll be an elevator back here. You'll just take it for a ride up. Now I'll take you up here to the top of the tower. And there you go. You got the Halog Tree Secret Medallion left. Then you have everything you need to go to the Consecrated Snowfield. So now that you have both halves of the Secret Halog Tree Medallion, you're just going to go back to the Grand Lift of Rolled here. And you'll have another option when you go up here to the platform. So when you come up here, you're just going to want to stand on the platform like you did when you went over to the Mountaintops of Giants. And then there'll be a switch action, which takes you over to Holy Secret Medallion. And then once you do that, you'll see it'll turn green and instead of red, I think is what it is for just for the normal one. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped you on your journey to getting to the conse consecrated snowfield. You just run through here. There's a lot of the the little little guys that jump and poison and and throw gas. But you know, if you made it here, you'll you'll make it through to the consecrated snowfield. So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, we'd appreciate a like, comment, and a subscribe if you've enjoyed the video or this helped you out. So, all right, see you soon, City Cat out.